Hi kids! Welcome to a starry, universe-tastic episode of Ask Miss Booksy. <laughs> I know there's a lot of you out there who want to be astronauts or maybe even walk on the moon. <laughs> that would be so fun. Anyways, a ton of you ask me questions about space, the planets, the stars. <laughs> so I put on my astronaut suit and I did some investigating and I got the answers for you. Colin Kate Butte asks, Dear Miss Booksy, can you tell me where the stars go in the daytime? Well, Colin, the cool and maybe weird thing is that the stars actually don't go anywhere during the day. They stay right where they are in the sky. We just can't see them. <laughs> Except for me. I'm at the center of the solar system, and I'm a star. Like a movie star? Well, I have made appearances in a lot of movies. But anyways, when I'm out there in the daytime, my light is so bright that all the other stars blend into the pale blue sky. Cool. And guess what? I don't disappear at night either. The Earth just spins around, so you don't see me. But I'll be back. Hmm. Kind of like when I turn my back on a lamp? Yup. The Earth is so big, they have to turn all night just to see me again in the morning. Awesome. <laughs> well, have a good night, son. See you tomorrow. Good night. So the stars are always there. See kids, you can always wish upon a star. Just look up and make your wish. Next, Era Shahira asked me a super educational question. Miss Booksy, what are the eight planets in our solar system? I think I need to call in some backup. Yo, oh, Miss Booksy. 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 Hey guys. <laughs> Quick, let's do a roll call. Mercury. Venus. Earth. Mars. Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus. Neptune. Pluto. Sorry, Pluto. You're not a planet anymore. Aww. But you can still hang out with us anyway. Yay! Together, all of us orbit around the sun and make up the solar system. We all look different. Different shapes and sizes. Different types of atmospheres. But we work together to make the solar system awesome. Hey, uh, guys, could you let me in on a little secret? Sure, what's up? So, do aliens exist or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's for us to know and for you to find out. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> well, kids, that just means one of you is going to have to become an astronaut. And let me know if you find aliens or not. Okay, next up. Two of you actually asked the same question. Sarah and Manor both asked, why is there no gravity in space? Whoa, cool. <laughs> I can see my library from up here. <laughs> Not really, but I feel like an astronaut in NASA. Well, here's the thing. There actually is gravity in space. Yeah, in fact, everything has gravity. The Earth has a gravitational field. Whoa, that's a big word. <laughs> Which means it pulls you towards it. But the farther you are away from it, the less you're pulled. Oh, oh no, I'm too far! Uh. Don't worry, I'll catch you in my field. Woo! Oh, thanks, Moon. <laughs> I have gravity too. All the planets are pushing and pulling and spinning around each other. But space is so ginormous that it just seems like everything's floating. Plus, there's no air up here, so it doesn't feel as windy and swooshy as when something falls on the Earth. Like that time I fell off my bed. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> well, that was a super cool episode of Ask Miss Booksy. <laughs> I had so much fun. <laughs> and guys, thanks for asking all those awesome questions. Keep them coming to give me more ideas for upcoming episodes. You could also send me your questions in the mail. Here's the address. I can't wait to see your letters. <laughs> Subscribe to Cool School for all the fun things we have. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. <laughs>